Every day in your life, you move through systems of power that other people made. Do you sense them? Do you understand power? Do you realize why it matters? Power is something we are often uncomfortable talking about. That's especially true in civic life, how we live together in a community. In a democracy, power is supposed to reside with people, period. Any further talk about power and who has it seems a little dirty, maybe even evil. But power is no more inherently good or evil than fire or physics. It just is. It governs how any form of government works. It determines who gets to determine the rules of the game. So, learning how power operates is key to being effective, being taken seriously, and not being taken advantage of. In this video, we will be looking at the top 10 books on power and strategy. So let's start the show. Shall we? Number 1. Laws of Power by Robert Greene. When you show yourself to the world and display your talents, you naturally stir all kinds of resentment, envy, and other manifestations of insecurity. You cannot spend your life worrying about the petty feelings of others. Robert Greene's masterpiece needs no introduction. We consider it a masterpiece to understand the power and the strategy to gain it easily. This book has 480 pages where Robert Greene has explained the concept of power and rules of power in an amazing way. When I first read and absorbed this book, it begets the feeling of insecurity inside me. I felt that I will not be able to digest all the truths mentioned in it regarding power. The frightening and amoral truths were very hard to accept like, get others to do the work for you, but always take the credit, discover each man's thumbscrew, make other people come to you, use bait, if necessary, play a sucker to catch a sucker, seem dumber than your mark. This book allows you to understand human nature and the human condition as well. Number 2. The Prince by Niccolo Machiavelli. Everyone sees what you appear to be, few experiences what you really are. This book has 80 pages where the writer explains the basic rules that you need to follow to get the power, the political power. This book is normally recommended to the students of political science in their first class. It is said that you can never be a good politician if you have not read and understand its concept in depth. In this book, the writer asked to focus on realism, not idealism. Number 3. The 33 Strategies of War by Robert Greene. Robert Greene's groundbreaking book, The 48 Laws of Power, helped the readers to understand the power and beat the enemy. In The 33 Strategies of War by Robert Greene, the writer has further explained the same concepts. We can call it the companion to Sun Tzu's The Art of War. In this book, examples of geniuses like Napoleon to Margaret Thatcher, Shaka the Zulu to Lord Nelson, Samurai Swordsman are given. On each page of this masterpiece, you would find an amazing strategy to win a war against your worst and powerful enemy. One can also learn the best strategies he needs to negotiate with great strength or the defensive strategies that can help you to respond to the unwinnable and menacing situation. All of its 33 chapters designed a strategy to change unwinnable wars into winnable ones. Book explains that the great warriors from the battlefields ensure they are calm, balanced, and agile which allows them to understand things rationally in an effective manner. They don't allow themselves to get panicked in the worst situation and behave like stupid and an unmannered man. The 33 strategies of war gives you a new psychology and the thought that a person needs to get rid of failure. Number 4. The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. The Art of War by Sun Tzu was written around 500 BC by a military general, strategist, and warrior of high rank named Sun Tzu. This is another ancient Chinese masterpiece that explains all about warriors, weapons, war tactics, and forts. You can call it the essence of the strategy that a warrior needs to win on the battlefield, you have ever read about warfare? You will find an amazing view of deception, manipulation, positioning, surprise, momentum, cunning, profit motive in this small package. The messages given in this book also reveal that war is ugly, brutal, dirty, prodigal, and exorbitant and this is truth and reality. This book is also translated into French and published in 1772 by Jesuit Jean-Joseph Marie Amiot. Number 5. Steve Jobs by Walter Isaacson. One way to remember who you are is to remember who your heroes are. When you are interested in getting knowledge or want to be successful in your life, Try to learn what great and successful people do or have done in their lives and apply these rules to your life. Steve Jobs was among the most successful businessmen on the planet. 
He achieved this success through his unbeatable products designed with exceptional innovation and technology. His perfect mindset and charismatic perfection and consistency in his attitude allowed him to get power and influence. No one can ignore the CEO of the most powerful company in the world. Walter Isaacson wrote Steve Jobs' biography having more than 40 interviews with him. Walter Isaacson has written a well-explained story of Steve Jobs' life, personality, passion, six industries, music, phones, tablet, computers, and animated movies. Number 6. Daniel Goleman's Golden Triad, Emotional Intelligence, Social Intelligence, Focus. Social Intelligence is a book that will allow you to have a deep look at social dynamics. It will also help understand the social behaviors and how they beget. If you become able to understand other behaviors and redress your social behavior. Whereas emotional intelligence makes you understand yourself and your emotions as well. It makes you know all this through real-life examples, scientific discoveries, and many other solutions. It helps you understand the ways that you can utilize not only for your good, but also for the betterment of your close or beloved ones. Number 7. The 50th Law by Robert Greene and 50 Cent. Your fears are a kind of prison that confines you within a limited range of action. The less you fear, the more power you will have and the more fully you will live. The 50th Law is one of the best-selling books of the New York Times explaining the strategy and fearlessness written by author Robert Greene with the collaboration of rapper 50 Cent. After enduring a lot of atrocities in life and seeing the dirty face of power, 50 Cent learned only one lesson and that was, fear nothing. This book explains a principal rule that fear has a negative effect begets anxiety and causes the paralysis of the will. Number 8. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. It isn't what you have or who you are or where you are or what you are doing that makes you happy or unhappy. It is what you think about it. This book doesn't require special words to explain its title. It carries a self-explanatory title. Over 15 million copies of this book have sold and the reason behind this is writer Dale Carnegie who is considered as the godfather of self-improvement. The core idea of this book is how to win friends and influence people. Number 9. Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion by Robert B. Cialdini. In this book, the writer introduces the six pillars of ethical persuasion including reciprocity, liking, authority, social proof, commitment and consistency, and scarcity where it is explained that people will do the things which they see doing other people. It also addresses that you can easily persuade a person who likes you and people used to obey a person who has authority. Number 10. The Art of Worldly Wisdom by Baltasar Gratian. The book, The Art of Worldly Wisdom, is a treasure. The company you keep can make a big difference. Without our knowledge, customs, habits, and even intelligence are transmitted. This book was created in the 17th century by the Spanish Jesuit scholar Baltasar Gratian, as I mentioned in my post 35 pieces of life-changing wisdom, that will make you more powerful and successful. It comprises 300 proverbs that will assist you in achieving your goals in life. Don't show off every day, or you'll see surprising people, says one of my favorite proverbs from the book. There has to be some sort of freshness left over. The individual who shows a little bit of it every day raises expectations, and no one ever learns his limits. That is, limit your abilities and talents by showcasing them in little increments. Another of Gratian's proverbs tells you to carefully select your companions. Place the proper people beside you. The company you keep can make a big difference. Without our knowledge, customs, habits, and even intelligence are transmitted. So, that was all about the best books on power and strategy. If my video was informative to you, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more interesting videos. Until my next video, stay safe and healthy.